the Missouri performance, you know, shutouts against the SEC don't happen every day. Yeah. Um, what is that kind of momentum that you're feeling? I guess yeah. like on the practice field right now, what does that feel like to, you know, be a part of the defense that kind of was able to do that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think this is pick it back to like what I just said. Yeah. Like everybody's just doing their one job. I mean, yeah. Coach C. Rob talking about. Talk about it every day. It's just like yeah, yeah. we all gonna hut in one and just do our one of um, eleven, like do our job basically. How have you How have you grown personally in this defense? Like, how, is it something that you like doing? Is yeah, it, yeah. I mean, I think in this defense, with, um, the wolf position, it's a it's a lot of room for uh, like achievements for ourselves. We get the freedom to rush the pass, the yeah. drop, and, like I call it inception. Yeah. Um, um, play a little middle linebacker, yeah. and yeah, it just. Basically, create value for us in yeah. this defense. The wolf, How, the wolf position. I'm sorry. How different is that from what you're doing last year? Oh, it's way different. Um, this year, I say we like we roam, we roam around a rock. Um, um, coach, coach like that. Coach Kane, he like that. Um, just trying to use our athletic ability and to do what we do. For real. Is that something that maybe you're more comfortable with coming from what you did in high school? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I did some of the stuff we do um, this year. In high school, it, it's kind of natural. Just for real, just playing, not air, nothing too hard, and just going after it. Going one, after of the, it. one of the things that Kane said or Kane wanted to the other day was um, he. Sorry, stop my call. Um, he, he was talking about how you are continually getting healthy, and, yeah. and, and kind of. So, how are you feeling at this point? And as you continue to get healthy, do you feel like you know your your opportunity to break out a little bit more, or like how are you feeling? I guess how I, I feel good. I mean, everybody at this point in the season gonna feel a little sore, you know. But like, I'm, I'm feel I feel good. Yeah. yeah. And just ready to turn that corner and perform. Yeah. What does that look like to turn the corner at your position? Like, I mean, what's that next step? Next step, I mean, coaches and. Um, key player like um, Deontay Lawson after, yeah. after the game came to me was like, "Hey man, for I want to see you cut it loose." I'm yeah. like, "I got you." Uh, yeah. And then he said that before C. Rob. So just I got players like leaders on the team yeah. just coming to talk to me before the coaches even say something to me. So like, just just for myself, just having being like comfortable and uh, I would say comfortable and trusting myself yeah. to cut it loose and make plays within doing my job. You know? what, what are the biggest things that you've learned from the older guys? Like, uh, whether it's schematically, whether it's emotionally, mentally, kind of preparation, things like that. What are the biggest things? I'll say, I'll say one thing d -Law told me is, like, just play hard. I mean, you're going to mess up at yes. some point. Just go out there and give it your all, and I'm going to perform well. Yeah. yeah. What did you learn maybe last year from Dallas and Chris before they moved on to the league? I mean, Dallas, Dallas and uh, my boy Brad, uh, they just last year, you know, I didn't play, but just watching them and then just – Watching them day by day, learning football, just trying to take my game to the next level. And they just always tell me, just keep my head on straight and do what I'm supposed to do. When you were preparing for this season, what did you do maybe this off season to get ready for your opportunity? What I do? I'll say, basically, definitely like just learn the game more, just continue. Cause you can never not learn the game and a lot of conditioning, screen program, Coach Blue got us right. Um, there's a lot of film and stuff. Is that something you learn from the older guys? Is that that film study and that being a student? Yeah, the game I mean, Dallas last year, you could never catch him on, like watching NFL tape on his iPad. Like he was all a big film guy, just trying to get better at, at his craft, pass rushing and stuff. For you, like going into this final stretch of the season, where do you think you may be grown and where do you still kind of want to improve and build on? I'll say for me, I want to improve on my pass rush, just learning, like getting comfortable with pass rush angles and just like my teammates and coaches telling me, just cutting it loose and just play like myself. What's your relationship like with James Smith coming from the same school? Did you just get that one? Yeah. Oh, I miss that. No, nah, I, mean, I ain't get it. I ain't get it. But okay. Like, yeah, of course, that's my brother. Uh, we basically be with each other almost every day. And just coming here together, playing together, just mean more to both of us. Just go out there and shine like together. Did you all share any frustration last year not getting to be on the field a whole lot? Um, not really. I mean, he played a little bit, but me, it was me. I understood why I wasn't playing because, like, just I needed to learn more. I mean, physically, I think I, my body was good, but it's just like learning football, you know. What do you think you've improved in, in that area, just the, the student aspect? The student the yeah. student of the game? Yeah. I think I improved a lot. Just, yeah, I think I improved a lot. I ain't even see when I caught the pick. I ain't even see him 
because my eyes was on the quarterback. I ain't even seen him until later. He was like, hey, man, I got that, man. I was like, man, I ain't seen you, man. Until I watched the video, I was like, all right, man, you got it. Quick step away from football. It's Halloween today. Do you have a favorite Halloween candy or, like, a favorite memory or costume from growing up? Mm, a favorite memory? I mean, I remember me and my brothers. Well, I'm originally from Troy, so I just remember my brothers um, going to, like, scare people in the, na in the neighborhood. That's what that's a memory. I think you were talking about last year you are developing. Is it your strength? Was that the strength that you really needed to build up? Or yeah, what, what just, was it about your game? Just learning football because, like, when I came out, I really didn't know, man. So just taking my football IQ to the next level really just had me, get, well, gave, the ability, gave me the ability to separate myself from the others. You talked about, you talk about building your football IQ. A lot of people on the scene have talked about um, the Kane Wallman system being easier to understand mm -hmm. and helping players progress. And you felt that way? Yeah, especially coming from Coach Saban and everything. You know, saving defense, a lot of checks and stuff. Um, Coach, Coach Womack gave us the ability to just like get our feet in the grass and play, play like, play, play like our ability that like we got. Yeah. How beneficial is this second bye week then to maybe recover from physically and mentally have a little bit of practice too? Uh, it's been it's been it's been great for everybody. Just trying to get our bodies back and we got game, a big game this week, so. Just getting our bodies right and our minds right. Stay focused. Thank you, Clay.